Hey guys, if you're trying to just restart your Mac, well not restart it, but just set up everything back again after a factory reset and you're getting these messages where it's just not letting you, such as this, this version, blah, blah, blah. And then it's gonna tell you to use Mac OS utilities to install the latest version. Well, you're gonna be stuck in a loop. So let's just close this up. And you're gonna see this. So right now, what you need to do is reinstall the Mac OS and I would go into disk utility and then from here, what you need to do is just select your very first option. So that's up here, your volumes. And then from here, just erase. Although they might be erased and everything's good, we're just gonna erase one more time. And then we're gonna go into erase Mac, erase and restart. So here we go. And then we just have to get back into there to go ahead and install the newest Mac OS. It should restart, you should see an Apple logo. And again, a black screen, Apple logo again, loading bar, and we're gonna keep going. At this point in time, it's gonna ask you to pair things. So if you have keyboards or anything, just make sure to turn them on or you can turn them on and off just to make sure everything's good. And uh, if you're having any issues with this, it's taking way too long, way longer than what you would expect, then you can always use the cable that came with it and plug it into your Mac. And that way you're gonna make sure that they are in fact synced up. But again, if you had them turned on, make sure to turn them off and then on again, that way they're gonna pair up. So it's off and on again. They should just automatically pair up. There's not much you have to do with this, but sometimes they do take forever. So right here, it's gonna tell you that, but it's all paired, so it's all good. We're going to next, and then we can activate our Mac. From here, you're gonna see that up there. So just go into Wi-Fi and hook up your Wi-Fi, because you don't need Wi-Fi for this. Click on join, and then we should be able to activate our Mac just fine. Everything should go as normal. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what's going on. Again, you do need Wi-Fi for this. If you're having problems with your internet connection, use something like an ethernet cable that should help you out. So it's um, activated, so we can exit to recovery. And then from here, all you have to do is just reinstall the Mac OS. So go ahead, continue on. We're gonna reinstall it. Again, all this requires is an internet connection. So make sure that your internet's working or else this will be very, very difficult to do. So right now you should see a screen like so. Just click on agree, agree again, select your disk, continue on. And here we go. We're just gonna go on and let it do its thing. Uh, how long will this take? Well, it does depend on your internet speed. So although it says three hours for me, it's just gonna be more like five minutes. For some of you, it could take three hours if your internet speed is fairly slow. All right, so after the restart, you should see something like so, and then just go throughout the whole setup. But that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.